I found another article that just uh, confirms what I already believe, which is the earth is flat. And there's so much evidence, it's really overwhelming. But I was on LinkedIn looking at different industry news articles, and I, I came across this article that was talking about the Great Lakes and how they function like a, a slow moving river together, which I thought was interesting. So I found the link to the original article, which, which was uh, featured in the Milwaukee, Wisconsin Journal. And I'll put it in the link below the video. But basically what it says here, you'll see, and I'm reading from this highlighted portion, it says they might be called the Great Lakes, but the five bodies of water are in a sense, one giant slow motion river flowing west to east with each lake dumping like a bucket into the next until all the water is gathered in the St. Lawrence River and tumbles into the Atlantic Ocean which sounds reasonable. I mean, it sounds intuitive. And then it goes on and talks about how they got there, you know, tens of thousands of years ago and, and whatnot. But here's what's interesting. So then they get, you, you get to this graphic and it says five lakes, but one slow moving river. And it talks about Lake Superior, which the width is about 370, 79 miles, you can see right here. And it's at an elevation above sea level, which is zero feet sea level at 601.7 feet above sea level because the sea is indeed level. And then it points out that there's a dam right here that basically locks the water out and allows water to drain down to Lake Huron, which is 578 feet above sea level. And so the dam distance in the river is about 60. And then we get the width of Lake Huron, which is 223 miles. I mean, this continues on. And then we got Niagara Falls pointed out here, which is a distance of 35 miles roughly where Niagara Falls happens. And long story short, from the beginning, so the westernmost point of Lake Superior to getting into um, the Atlantic Ocean, they have down here is a total of 2,212 miles. And you can see that along the way, it's level and then it drops down after a dam, it's level. And then we got Niagara Falls and then it drops down and then a series of dam. But what you see consistent is that the water is level when undisturbed. And then we get to sea level, which again is zero feet. It is the base, it's the basin. And so here's what's interesting. If we use a simple, uh, if we use the simple calculation that NASA gives us, which is the earth curves at eight inches per mile squared, you do this 2,212 miles times 2,212 miles times eight inches. And that gets us the total amount of curvature in inches. So we divide by 12, that's the total amount in feet. And so you divide by 5,280 and that gets you the total curvature in miles. We should be asking how come this graphic doesn't show from the, the source point to the ocean, 617 miles, that's miles of curvature. There should be from the beginning to end, 617 miles of curvature. So I went to this website that's actually set out to debunk that the earth is flat and it has a curvature calculation and it talks about how the horizon is obscured by, by the curvature and all this stuff. So, so just to verify my numbers, 2,212 miles, and let's say we're starting at the level of the water, which is zero feet in height instead of standing. And what we see here is that maybe my calculation is a little bit off, maybe this is more exact. There should be a 675 miles of curvature. If we look at this point from the beginning, now remember, from the beginning, the westernmost part of Lake Superior to the ocean, that water should traverse 675 miles of curvature. But that's not what we see. What we see is level bodies of water to the dam points, waterfalls and rivers to level bodies of water to, to waterfalls and other dam points. And that's because water is always flat. Now, NASA wants us to believe that all the large bodies of water, like you can barely see right here, the uh, Great Lakes, that those bodies follow the curvature of the earth, but they don't. They follow the curvature in this graphic, 
which is level when undisturbed. So just more proof, we are not spinning on a ball. The earth is flat, water is flat, and what the Bible says about the makeup of the universe is indeed true. Heaven above, earth below, and hell below us.